In this part of the course, I am going to show you how to import media. Previously, I mentioned this only briefly, but I'm now going to scroll down my mouse to this section. I highlight it. This is where the importing is done. You will see project followed by the name. I previously called it untitled. Media browser is where you should be able to see your C drive and any other external hard drives or a USB drive, etc. But for right now, we're going to go to the project bin, as it's an appropriate call, I would say. I'll just scroll down here, import media to start. Double click, and here you go, a window opens. Now, you can either just click one file to import or which is best for me at the moment is to highlight all of them and then click open this will import the video files just the video files and here they are you'll need to use this to scroll up and if you hover over the images look at this you can see the thumbnails are active. It scrubs the video. And you can reverse it and, and the other videos. And this is ideal for if you shot a lot of video and you're not really sure where this part of the video is. You can hopefully, it's not perfect, but you can hopefully see, oh, it was in this shot or it was in this shot. Oh, there it is there. And that's what it is and how useful it is. You scroll down here. As you see, want to enter more, double click it again. Now, I've put this into folders, it's the video file, so I'm going to scroll back, click this, and I've got the music and the intros. I'm going to quickly move into the intros, do the same here. This is why it's quite a good idea to, um, it's quite a good idea to have them all folders and know what you're doing. And I'm going to put these, just, these are just for a wee test. Right, here it is. That's all the files imported. And this is my logo for my YouTube channel thing. It, is, it doesn't matter at the moment. Right. So that's everything imported. That's the logos, that's the video, that's everything. And the same would go if you want to find an image for something. You just constantly look for the, the, the double click it and then search for if you need to go to any other file, if it's images or Oh, I want to import this again, but there's no need for it. And you can just continue to import this stuff. It is a good idea, as mentioned briefly, to put them in folders so it's less disorganized. You can also, if these files get moved about, you can also import them again. So don't worry too much about that. Now, in the next part, I'm going to show you how to put the media on the timeline.